Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much you could, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the conception. Like and share videos and the news updates. Fire on the mountain. Southeast governors ran to Abuja to meet with the NSA now to discuss the developments in the Southeast. Now, it is happening. The Southeastern governors, they have gone to Abuja to discuss the developments in the Southeast. Yes, they have been rattled by the whole situation. So they are in Abuja now to discuss with Malam Nuhuri Badu, who is the National Security Advisor to Tinibu. Yes, so their meeting is not unconnected with what has been happening in recent times. Talking about the civil disobedience, talking about what uh, the people of the Southeast, the Biafrans, are doing to make sure that their plight is not hidden. Well, the international community understands the reality of what is happening in their region. They want freedom. Yes. And so, you, you will recall that last Wednesday, the Senate condemned the money sitter at home in the Southeast Geopolitical Zone, that's Nigerian Senate, and asked the federal government to collaborate with the Finnish government to extradite the Biafran Prime Minister in exile, or there's the Biafran Prime Minister of the Biafran Governments in exile, Mazi Samadeba, you know, to face prosecution in Nigeria. Of course, that's what the Senate is saying. To face prosecution for what? On what basis? On what ground? Well, now the upper chamber resolved to invite the Minister of Foreign Affairs, whenever he's appointed, and relevant stakeholders to carry out thorough investigation, as well as to as well as bring other sponsors to book and we are saying what what are they sponsoring are they sponsoring violence are they sponsoring hostility no no capital no what they are saying is treat these people like human beings they said is them they have been subjected to exclusion they have been subjected to you know extermination and so you have made the region desolate Save their self help and their effort, the region could have been in tatters and in complete desolate. And so, the only man who is speaking for them, Mazidam the Kano, is unjustly detained, extraordinarily renditioned, abducted, tortured, and is continuously detained illegally. And the people said they want to do civil disobedience. Is that why you're saying the Finnish government should liaise with the government of Nigeria to? Uh, uh, you know, extradite Mazi Samoneba. And you know that the Finnish government, they are civilized people. They will not do this kind of thing. So if they like this, that is government, they like, they should go and sleep in Asurok. If they like, they let them go and lie there and sleep. Let them take holiday there. In that place. It's even better for them to go and, and stay there. In fact, we are asking that they should go there and stay now. The South East governors who are in Abuja, over this issue, you know, go and relax there in Abuja, unless you come back with my Zanamekano. That's the only way you are permitted to come back home. Because this thing is too much. Okay? You have seen the feelings of the masses, the people of your zone, what they're demanding from you. So if you to go and lay that to the government at the center, tell them, we cannot go back home until you release this man. Our people said no. The whole, the entire South East region, all the people, the masses, everyone is saying the same thing. So it is, it's just difficult for you to go and relate these statements of your people to the central government that is holding Muslim Khan illegally, unjustly. Okay? So it's better for them to relax there and find room there and stay. All of them has been there. The chief in security in Imo has been there for almost three months now. He visits him and go back. So let other people, uh, we for from a bony. All right? Uh, so let them go there and pack. Okay? Until they have done what they're supposed to do. The region is, you know, the sin security. They are bringing troops. The terrorists, they say they repented from Boko Haram. As they are all lies. They are lies. Go there now. There's it rising in Plateau, in Benue, Nassau, North Central States, Southern Kaduna. 
They're killing people everywhere there. The Amnesty International have said it, have, have told the Nigerian government. What's happening there? Why are you ha what's happening? You allow people, these, these invaders, these terrorists, they claim to be full of men, to be killing people. And so, this is what is happening. All right? And you are bringing those troops down to the south is to cause insecurity. And now you said IPOB, BF agitators. Whereas these people are peaceful, peaceful, loved by their own people. Just like their hero, Masina Mekano, the hero of Igbos, 72 million Igbos across the world. And so that is what we are saying. If they will not come back with Masina Mekano, we wonder what they are coming back down to Eastern Nigeria to do. Because that is what we are saying. Let, the, let justice prevail. Let the government obey the court judgment. Let them do it. That is the panacea. Yes. People will go and see trouble and they will start looking for the trouble. Yes. That is it. And tomorrow they say, oh, there's trouble. Whereas you, as a person, you started it. When a court of competent judiciary will make a statement, declaration, deliver a judgment, a sitting president will not obey it. He will hand it over to another person. The person will continue to do the same thing. They will be dragging their foot, you know, foot dragging. And you expect what to happen? People to keep quiet. And people have kept quiet for enough. And they said, huh? we are doing civil disobedience. We are not fighting. We are not carrying kind of arms. We are not carrying kind of ammunition. We are just staying at home. And it becomes a problem. Governors will no longer sleep in their offices. They are only to scatter. It serves them right. Serve them right. Okay? Yes. So the issue is they're in Abuja because of sit at home. And the, the peer friends have said it. Said this is to put on notice the international community about the referendum, self referendum that is coming. Grant this referendum to peer friends and let there be a peaceful atmosphere. Because the problem and the crisis in the southeast is being caused by the federal troops who have been deployed to use brute force <laughs> to stop the peaceful agitations and civil disobedience in the region. That is when you are seeing insecurity happening. That's when they, whenever they say insecurity in the southeast, this is what is happening. Federal troops using brute force to stop the civil disobedience, to stop peaceful demonstration or agitation whenever people are doing it, or peaceful procession, okay?